Hey there, Scrapper Names fans. How are we all? I have a new process video for you, a Project Life Spread. Uh, this one is for the Anna's Craft Cupboard September Colour Challenge. Here it is here. Entitled Antiquity. Now, I am doing a Project Life Spread as I usually do, I guess, with a mood board. Um, and using the colours throughout the spread. So, I have used a couple of different cards from different collection some are the currently edition core kit um well that might be it no there's another one i think it's the close to my heart family range as well anyway so this is actually two page spread back and front but i'm only going to do i've only videoed the front for you um otherwise it gets too long and you get the gist um i will probably share some photos over on my blog and that anyway of it so anyway, so I'm just making this little title card and it's just road trip. So we just took our little one for a drive a few weeks back to a town kind of local to here, um, Braidwood, I don't know, Braidwood I think, anyway, I'm sure we'll see it shortly. Um, yeah, it's just a nice, it was a nice day, just decided to get out of the house and escape Canberra while it was nice and yeah, so we went that way um, and yeah, I'm just documenting that. So just using my black marker, one of my black markers, just to put a little doodly border, dotted border around the card, just to um, just to finish it off a little bit. I think with the title there and that um, picture, it just looked a little bit, I don't know, unfinished. So that was my plan. So just doing this 4 by 6 card. Now what I've got, as you can see, I've got a, um, a card behind it. I actually think this is a Maggie Holmes card. I don't know what the collection is though. I've got a whole heap of random bits and pieces. When I started Project Life, I just sort of brought up big on garage sale sites. <laughs> um, anyway, I just went with the blue colour because that's the pale blue is one of the colours that were in the colour challenge. Um, so yeah, so I'm just it, the blue will just pop out from behind this picture. Um, I tried to lift it then, but you know, the double sided tape is is quite sticky. Whoops. I just think I trim it down a little bit. Um, now, what else do I add? Oh, I just write on it. I can't remember what I write now. So that's just my white uniball pen that I'm using on that. Do I show you what I wrote? If, I don't, if you don't see it now, if I forget to show the card, I will see, you'll see it in the close-ups. And as I said, I've taken some other pictures, some photos that I'll put up either at the end of the video or when I post this on my blog. So be sure to check that out or on my Instagram page as well. So just adding some little black enamel dots there. Yeah, I think I put these down and then I was like, mm, I don't know if the rule of three really applies on this card. Didn't want to, I just wanted to add something to make that writing, writing on it pop a little bit and just to give a little bit of decoration, I guess, to the card without being, uh, with the photo all ready to go, I think that was. All right, so this card we come is my journaling card. So what I usually do is try and have a mix of filler cards, a journaling card and a title card. I guess everyone else probably does that. Um, usually I do make my own, but... Um, with this one I didn't, I just decided that um, it was great that I could find some collections and pieces in these kits that uh, matched the challenge, so that was good. So just journaled on there, added some little enamel dots and a, a phrase sticker, a tiny little phrase sticker, I think it's a Tim Holtz one. And then I decided it needs some gold hardy shine, just to make it pop out a little bit. You can never go wrong with some of the hardy swap colour shine there. All right, just just start um, soaking up some extra pieces, uh, blobs on there. There you go. Quick look. Now this spread only took me about half an hour this side to do. Ish, that was um, I've edited some out and sped it up a little bit for you. So yeah. Now this card here does have some writing on it. Is this close to my heart, family? Um, pack that I told you about so at the beginning I just wanted it for the color not so much what was written on it so as you can see I've just used that photo to cover up the 
writing that was originally on the po on the card and yeah just keeping the border on it now these little stickers they're alphabet stickers um they are a Kayser craft tiny one tiny alphabet oh my god they are frustrating but they're good to use like I, i've been using them a little bit of late on photos and things like that but oh my gosh they're so finicky so i don't actually think i've used that many of them that seems to be so many white spaces it's more that they just keep flying off every time i use them and yeah i got up from doing this spread and there was one stuck to my jeans i think and then i'll yeah so they're a bit annoying but you know that's so be it these little um another little fray stick here these are amy tangerine ones um from way back when <laughs> i don't know when exactly um so i'm just adding they've got some cute little phrases on it like you know meet me in the sunshine or that's cool and you know different things like that so i'm just adding some in here oh bye bye that's my niece saying hello she's here again with me it's uh lunch time here on a monday and everyone's supposed to be sleeping she's chosen to wake up earlier so she's helping Annie Amy do a voiceover yep see there she go she's very ex you know explains a lot now just adding some more bling to this card just to add a bit of color some little pops of color there they're just some case of rhinestones uh, yeah what am i doing i'm oh, fussing around with them And I order, yes, there you go. So on the card there, I've just added a bit of a border just to finish it off. So I think with the tiny alphabets, I've spelt the word yummo. And then I've got in the phrase stickers, it's um, oh yes and something else. And this is, I've just, what I've done here too is, and sometimes I do this if I have a four by six card that I really want to, or photo, if I can split it down the middle and make it sort of an even split, so, you know, not cutting someone in half or anything like that. So, for example, this one is just a photo of the yummy, yumminess that we got at near Braidwood Bakery. Oh, it was, they're the best bakery. Um, so, yeah, I just, it, there was no one in it. It's just a picture of food, so I just cut it in half and put it in these two um, three-by-four pockets. So that's another little thing you can do if, you you know, you're a bit stuck um with you know having a range of different photos and you know one not fitting if you can you know split it in half then why not and make it fit so that's what i've done here and i haven't used the same um three by four project life cards to back them onto i thought about it um or sort of but i decided same color but one has a pattern and one's plain so you know you can still see it's part of the pictures they drew together but it just gives them a little bit of something different and i mean i like highlighting food because well food's great Especially, you know, that yummy chocolate eclair, which I'm looking at it going, oh my God, I could have one of them right now. Lunch time. I've been using more and more of my um, phrase stickers, actually. And I think I did this spread before I reorganized my craft area. So if you're new to my channel, um, I have put up, a few days ago saturday afternoon i think it was um i don't have a big craft space um and i share it as an office type thing for the house um who am i kidding taken over most of the area anyway um as you do but i reorganized my my little stash of goodies um just because i didn't like the way it was working and not working it looked too bulky in parts so yeah if you're um new to my channel pop on over if you want some info inspiration uh for your craft room because i have yeah and nothing fancy here um and all my stuff if you're an aussie you can get here in australia um most of it anyway so yeah that might be worth having a look i know when i was looking for inspiration it was good to see some australian ones because you know you can get the stuff here all right so my little blue bucket of randomness there so that's just all bits and pieces either brought or left over um from previous kits so this here is cut apart from the uh pebbles ink girl squad collection um it was left over in my august kidaholic kit so i'm just using some of those and that just says go girl and it's just of a photo of my daughter going down the slide um so yeah i usually go straight to this if i'm a bit stuck of what i want to use as i said my stash isn't huge and i have most of a rough idea of what i've got and what i don't have more of an idea now i've reorganized it <laughs> um finding things that you didn't realize you had oops 
Um, but, yeah, usually I go straight to these sort of, I mean, because it's there, I guess, um, just to see if there's some stuff I can use. And I've only just added some of these things because my new kit only arrived last week or well, maybe the week before. I can't remember now. So I moved the old one across. Still rifling around. Looking for some, oh, these grey pieces and the blue and that. So the blues were fairly easy in my stash to find to fit with the the, the um, mood board, but um, some of the other colours were a bit tricky, so I had to dig deep and have a real good look through my stash to see what I could find. So these little grey hearts, which I think are Studio Calico, I think. Can't be sure. Um, we're just, yeah, rifling around there. Not being used and here they are perfect I've been wanting to use this heart I like it I think the color of it is um, too not bold but like it's quite in your face kind of thing so I haven't been able to use it yet on a layout I might have to move it across to my art journal maybe that's an idea there we go now's that one done my journal yes so I'm just doing a little bit of journaling on the top nothing too fancy can't even remember what I wrote <laughs> and that pen there is that a I think it's a uniball pen actually I think that one is as well All right, now where am I up to? Now, I do apologise. I think I went through and edited this. I didn't quite see what I did. Oh, so I cut this piece out. I think it says breathe it all in, love it all out, I think, and I really liked that. The whole, because I guess the backstory here is we've been trying to do a few things just to get out of the house. I mean, it's been winter and it's been cold and miserable here in Canberra, so getting out is just, you know, hard. And so we just wanted to make some more time to get out of the house you know change the scenery for a few hours just to relax and unwind um so i just i found this little quote piece on another project life card and i thought i really like that um but i didn't like the plain white card itself and i really liked this card that has some flowers on it so yeah i've just chopped that up and i have just stuck it on the bottom which you didn't see me do sorry so you'll see i guess in the close-ups now this card matches to me the one in the top title card the road trip I'm just adding a doodly border here. I don't know what else I add. I guess we'll see, won't we? I only did this spread a few days ago and I've already forgotten it. How shocking is that? Oh, I add a few little embellishments that I have in my box of randomness, actually, I think. Oh, no. Yes, I do, because I think I look at this packet and I didn't like it. So that's just an, an, uh, an Audi pack, actually, that I got a few months back when they had their scrapbooking stuff. Um, so that didn't have what I wanted. So I have gone to my little box of randomness. So I make this bike work. I thought, why not? I liked it. thought it was cute. We're outdoors. That's a pink one, and this one was like a more aqua colour. And I thought – and I used it because – a little bit because it also ties into the colours of the, the mood board itself. So I thought that was a really, really handy. And when I do a Project Life spread, I try and make sure there's sort of an even-ish kind of spread of the colours. Like, I, you know, I don't – I like to have a bit of balance. So if I've got, you know, four spots for cards, two need to be like blue or whatever, and then two need to be of the same colour or something like that, just so it's – to me in my creative eyes uh, just so it's balanced I guess um you know I don't care if it's got different patterns as long as the colors I, I usually scrap from color um as I've said before you know off the photos and things like that I usually try and get some inspiration for what colors I want to use for this case it was obviously the the Anna's Craft covered the board the challenge board So I'm just trying to adhere. This might be the last card, I think. And these little acrylic heart shapes are absolutely gorgeous. I got them from 
Corbett Creations, and they're so cute. Some are like a silver glitter, some are just plain, some are like a pink glitter, and then there's black ones, and yeah, they're really cute. So they're new to my stash. There you go. So you might see them used more and more. All right. Just popping everything back in. Here is some close-ups of the first side. As I said, I, I will show you the second side in some photos um, when I share this out on my Instagram page and things. So keep tuned for that. Uh, if you liked my, if you liked this video, please give me a thumbs up. I always like to feel the love. Uh, if you've got any comments or questions, leave them below and I'll try and get back to you. Otherwise, happy scrapping and I will see you very soon with another video. Thank you for watching.